Researchers at McMaster University have identified a new class of antibiotics. It comes at a time when antibiotic-resistant bacteria is considered a top global public health threat. CTV's health reporter Pauline Chan has the details. We've had variations on old antibiotics um, that come out, but we've never had a brand new chemical molecule like we have now. Professor Jerry Wright and a team of researchers at McMaster have returned to ground level, literally, to search for a new way to fight infections. Most of the antibiotics that we discovered happened between 1940 and 1965, roughly. Um, the scientific tools available to researchers at the time don't compare to what we have now. Things like computers and gene sequencing have helped them identify a new antibiotic they're calling lariocidin. The name comes from the fact that it's part of a family of, of peptides that have the shape of a lariat, that is a lasso, they're called lasso peptides. And what it catches isn't cows, but harmful bacteria. It is, uh, hits uh, an old target called the ribosome, which is the structure inside the cell that makes proteins, but it hits it in a brand new spot. So it binds to a brand new spot and it and it actually kills the cells. Antibiotic resistance is a global healthcare crisis. Um, it is probably one of the most important existential threats on how we practice medicine going forward. Antibiotics are not only essential in human health care, but also in food production. In fact, most of the antibiotics used on the planet, uh, probably two-thirds to three-quarters, are used in food animal production. Wright says lariocidin causes no harm to human cells, but it attacks a wide range of pathogenic bacteria, including Staphylococcus and E. coli. More research is needed, but if all goes well, it could be in use in several years' time. Pauline Chan, CTV News.